My wife and I have always heard about mission trips, never really pulled the trigger on it. We were offered this opportunity to go to Honduras and participate. It was a, a, a really incredible experience, life, life-changing. The trip over there was, a, was an amazing experience. It, it felt like, um, you know, after the first day, you know, everybody kind of bonded together and it, it felt like uh, just one, one family. I really do believe that the Holy Spirit was at work developing our relationships uh, together, allowing us to understand each other better, to communicate with each other uh, with kindness, without God, you know, being, you know, deeply involved in the Holy Spirit sort of moving and, and you know, interconnecting everything together and working within all of us, uh, just to give us the, the strength uh, and the, the ability and the willpower and determination. The locals, uh, the, the looks in their eyes and their faces and the appreciation that they have um, to understand that another human being from a completely different part of the world without any questions asked or seeking anything in return, I think that was a, a very impactful you know, uh, moment for, for many of these people. I give tremendous amount of credit uh, to the other people that were part of the construction crew. Despite any obstacle that we were facing, Everybody, you know, met it head on, but everybody had a smile on their face the whole time. We went up the mountain uh, to another um, location where uh, they they were they were they were working on a, a cistern to collect water. We had an opportunity to teach, you know, some of the some of the local people, especially the young men, um, how to do, you know, some of these different types of uh, trades. And you could, you know, clearly you could see that they needed some help and they needed some, some training on how to be able to carry out you know, some of these very simple tasks. And I think it was good to have um, an opportunity to work with these, some of these young men uh, to offer uh, some valuable skills to them that they could use in their future. Uh, these are skills that, that, that could be uh, very valuable you know, for them. And I, I feel that you know, some of them were, were pretty eager to learn that, and I think that could be very helpful for them. The poverty level is, it is very, very noticeable. You see children all over the place. Some have, don't even have shoes. And in fact, I, I don't believe that a lot of their houses even have uh, running water. You know, wherever you are in the world, you know, running water, having just clean water and access to that in your home is, is, is absolutely critical. So the families, they typically cannot afford uh, to have their children go to school, which I think is, you know, it's, it's a tragedy. Uh, the education, along with water and things like that, but education is absolutely key. Uh, I, would, I would love to see some of these projects focus more on um, education. So my thoughts on, on um, mission trips are if, if, you've, if you've been considering it, I think that you should stop waiting. Find uh, a mission trip and, um, and you should do it. I think it is something that's vital to serve a cause, to help people in need, uh, to be a reflection of the, of the Holy Spirit, to be a reflection of Christ. This is something that's critical uh, to us in our growth as, as, as humans, as disciples of, of Jesus, to be that light, to be the reflection on these people that are in need. Rather than pondering or debating, you know, it's actually getting your feet on the ground, getting dirty, and, uh, and actually taking action. My recommendation would be to, to just do it. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Don't be scared. The group will come together, I guarantee it. And, uh, and the experience is something you'll remember for a lifetime. Mm -hmm.